I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We'll now take a few series related with trigonometric functions. Here are two examples. We'll work with tangent ratio first. Question number one. Solve for x tan 2x times tan 3x is equal to 1. And then question number two is tan 1 degrees times tan 2 degrees times tan 3 degrees times tan 4 degrees till tan 89 degrees is what? So we need to evaluate these values. Now let's try to answer question number one first. We have tan 2x times tan 3x equals to 1. Now whenever you have this kind of a situation then the the idea here is that it is only possible if 2x plus 3x is equal to 90 degrees right so that is when it is possible right and therefore knowing this we can straight away write down our answer right so we know 2x plus 3x is equal to 90 degrees we have 5x equals to 90 degrees or x is equals to 90 by 5 and that gives us 18 degrees and that becomes our solution right now let's try to understand why it is so right so i'll just kind of extend this to understand why it is so uh, now to understand let's consider a triangle so if i have a right triangle let us see the angles here are A and B. And this is a right angle triangle, right? Now, in any right angle triangle, we can say that tan A times cot A equals to 1, right? They are reciprocal. Perfect. Now, you could write this as tan A and cotangent A angle A can be written as 90 minus B, right? So we could write this as cot of 90 minus B is equal to 1. Now, see here. So we have tan A times cot of 90 minus B is tan B. So, so from here, we can see the proof why it is so. So we see that tan A tan B should be equal to 1 and that really means that A plus B is 90 degrees. Is it clear to you? So that is the proof for the strategy which we have used. But this is a very useful strategy to solve such questions, right? So you get the idea. So now if you look into the second question, you see 1 plus 89 is 90 and 2 plus 88 will be 90 and so their products will be 1 and we know this answer will be 1, correct? So that is how you could answer question number 2. Now let us uh, see its solution in a bit more details. As we discussed, we know the answer which is just 1, right? But anyway, let's answer 2. When you have these kinds of questions, then first step here is to find number of terms, right? So we are actually trying to figure out what is tan 1 degrees times tan of 2 degrees times tan of 3 degrees uh, till, let me write here, tan of 88 degrees, uh, tan of 89 degrees, right? So the idea here is to form the group. So we can form these groups, right? where 1 plus 89 is 90 like this correct so we can form all the groups like this so basically in such cases we need to figure out how many terms are there right so here we have uh, we have 89 terms from 1 to 89 correct so that means we'll have actually groups form but one number will be left, right? So half is like, we'll have 44 groups, right? That means uh, we have 44 groups. So what I'm trying to say is that this equation can be written as uh, tan of one degrees 
time stand of 89 degrees, time stand of, let's say, 2 degrees, time stand of 88 degrees, and so on. And uh, so at the end, we have tan of 44 degrees times tan of 46 degrees. And what we are left with is tan of 45 degrees. Correct? Now, all these combinations will result into 1 and tan 45 is also 1, right? So, so what we get here is that we get 1 times, 1 times, 1 times, so on, right? So, all products of 1 even 1045 is 1 and therefore we get our answer as 1 right so we know that tan of 45 is also 1 correct equals to 1 and uh, when a plus b we, we know tan a i mean times tan b equals to 1 if a plus b equals to 90 degrees. Is it okay? So, remember this to solve such questions. So, I hope that makes sense. Now, if this question is there in your multiple choice test paper, immediately you can write answer within few seconds. That helps. In this video, we'll discuss an application of co-function identity. We have two related questions. Question 3 is solve for A where sine squared a plus sine squared 2a equals to 1. And question number 4 is, evaluate sine squared 1 degree plus sine squared 5 degrees plus sine squared 9 degrees and so on till sine squared 89 degrees. So let's answer question number 3 first. We are going to use that concept here. So when I say that sine squared a plus sine square 2a is equal to 1, then we could relate it kind of like this. We know that, let me write first, cos square a plus sine square a is equal to 1. Right? So if you kind of think about this, then that gives you a concept and that tells you that in this particular situation when we say sine square a plus sine square 2a equals to 1 that really implies that a plus 2a should be equal to 90 degrees and that gives us 3a equals to 90 degrees or a equals to 90 divided by 3 and so we get a equals to 30 degrees. You get an idea, right? So, so that is how we could easily solve this particular question, right? Now, from where do we get this? We get this from co-function identity, and that is why I'm treating this as a application of co-function identity. Right? So, let's get uh, in details. If I have a right triangle here, right? So, let us say in this triangle, I have angle A here and B there. And that's a right angle triangle. So, so in this particular triangle, we could write uh, sine square a plus cos square a equals to 1. Now, angle a can be written as 90 minus b, right? So, we could write this as sine square a plus cos square 90 minus a, right? Should be equal to 1. Now, cos... 90 minus a is sine, right? So, or you can think like this. Sine square a plus, you can write like this. Cos of 90 minus a. Let me go one more step. Let me just square it like this. Just to make it absolutely clear, right? Now, cos of 90 minus a is sine a, right? Sorry, 90 minus b. A will be 90 minus b. I'm so sorry b right okay so so as you can see here a can be written as 90 minus b right so a is 90 minus b remember a is equal to 90 minus b correct in this right angle triangle so replacing a with 90 minus b we get 
cos square a equals to cos 90 minus b whole square and that could be written as sine square a plus sine square b equals to 1. Does it make sense to you? So, so if you have sine square a plus sine square b equals to 1, it basically means that a plus b equals to 90 degrees. Only then it is possible. Is that clear to you? Right. So that is what I want to emphasize here. So whenever we have this situation, right, so, so let me rewrite here. If I have sine square a plus sine square b equals to 1, that implies that a plus b is 90 degrees. Is that clear to you? So that is what we want to summarize and emphasize here. Okay? So let's move forward and do question number 4 now. We have already learned that sine square a plus sine square b is equal to 1. So from the first question we learned that sine square a plus sine square b equals to 1 means that a plus b equals to 90 degrees, correct? Now in example 4, it's kind of different but similar concept. Evaluate sine square 1 plus sine square 5 plus sine square 9 and so on till sine square 89, perfect? So as you can see here, we can combine some terms. So, so we can write, let's solve this answer 4. We can rewrite this and we can write this as sine square 1 plus sine square 89, right? So we can club them. Plus we could do sine square 5 plus a term before this will be, since the series is going up by 4, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9. So taking away 4, we get 85 here. So we get sine square 85 plus so on. Do you, do you see that part? So we could actually combine the terms and we'll get something like this where 1 plus 89 is 90, 5 plus 85 is also 90. Do you see that? So in this series, you notice that each will result into 1. So this is 1, that is also plus 1 and and so on. We could add 1. So we need to find how many terms are here, right? So at this stage, two things are important. One is we need to figure out how many ones, right? This is what we need to figure out. So let's find number of terms. Okay, so for that, let's look into our series once again. We have series which is 1, 5, 9, and so on till 89. Correct? So in this series, we are going up by common difference of 4, right? So we are adding 4 each time. To find the number of terms, number of terms will be equal to what? will be maximum, right, minus minimum over common difference plus 1, since we are including both of them, right? So in this particular case, we get 89 minus 1 over difference is 4 plus 1, and that gives you 88 over 4 plus 1, and that is 22 plus 1. So that is what we get, 22 plus 1 terms. Well, 22 is an even number, but 1 is not an even number. So we have 23 terms, right? So basically, we have 23 terms. Now, 22 can be combined. into 11 sums, right? So basically, we have 11 of these, right? So let me, let me just rewrite this. So we could rewrite this as 
sine square 1 plus sine square 89 time plus sorry plus here plus sine square 5 plus sine square 85 plus so on so we have these 11 terms right so we have uh, 11 of these right so we have 11 terms and after these 11 terms we are left with one so we are left with one and this one it will be the center term which is sine square 45 is that clear to you so we have 11 terms and their sum is one each is one right so 11 terms plus sine square 45 and so what we get here is 11 plus sine square 45 is 1 over square root 2 whole square square sine 45 is 1 over square root 2 so we get the whole sum as equal to 11 plus half right which is 11.5 is it clear to you so the answer for this is 11.5 perfect so let's go back to this basically we made the combinations and we found that 22 terms can be combined like this so we'll get 11 ones right each sum results into one number one so we get 11 from these sums plus one term the center term which is sine square 45 results into half so we get 11.5 as our answer is that clear to you right so that is how we'll answer this. Hope it is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.